Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one more interview question that reverts a number using recursion. So normally we know that, okay, this is a very basic formula that we have to do that. We have to start a number and we have to start a while loop, which is like number greater than zero and then reverse equal to, we have to capture the remainder and then we have to keep printing it. And then number is always number by 10. So we are dividing by 10 and then again, checking the number again, number is greater than zero. Again, keep getting the remainder and then keep divided by 10. So let's see I'm passing one, two, three over here. So it will just simple reverse the number like this. So if you run it, see it's getting you three, two, one. If you print, let's see one, two, three, four, five, something like this, then it will reverse a number five, four, three, two, one like that. But the same logic, you have to do it recursively. Recursively means a function which is calling itself. So how to do this? So I'll do one thing, just very simple. But if someone is asking you recursively, you have to solve it. How will you do that? So let's see, this is a function that I have created. Let's see public static void reverse function, which is taking one uh, number parameter over here. Immediately do not forget to put this condition that if number is less than 10, then what you do, you immediately system dot out of print ln or you return the same number over here. So let's see, I'm just printing it on the console. That's it. And then you return nothing over here. Okay, and then you come inside the else part and then again you write system dot out of print ln and the same number that you are getting modulus 10 it means you get the remainder and then do what and then you call this reverse function recursively once again it means call this function once again so how will you do that here you have to pass a number divided by 10 and that's it the solution is ready so what will happen when i call this particular function let's say i'm calling this reverse function passing one two three so let's see first of all it is working or not so let's uh, go to one two three it's printing three two one a vertical uh, okay we have to print here sorry so let's run it again and let's see so see it's printing three two one over here so which is absolutely working fine so how exactly the logic is working one two three will be given to this guy one two three is less than ten no one two three is not less than ten so it will go to the else part and then it will take the remainder so one two three remainder ten which is equal to what it will give you remainder as three so three will be printed on the console because of this print ln and then number divided by 10. So here I'm writing what is the current number number is 1 2 3 divided by 10, which is equal to what, which is equal to 12.3. But both are integers, so it will give you 12 only. And then again, 12 will be given to this particular number. Sorry, 12 will be given to this uh, function. Again, it will check this condition 12 less than 10. No condition is not satisfied. It will go to the else part. And then again, it will check that okay, this time 12 modulus 10 or 12 percentage 10 is equal to it will give you the remainder as two. And then again, 12 divided by 10 is giving you what it's giving you one over here this time. And then again, one will be given to this guy, it will check one less than 10. Condition is satisfied. And then it will print one on the console. Okay, so let's see it is actually working or not. So once again, see 321. And let's see it is working for some other uh, values as well. So I'll do one thing that uh, I simple pass one, two, three, four, five over here and let's try to reverse it. So see, uh, reverse is happening and I'll do one thing. Let me just uh, put L in here. Otherwise it will print on the same line. So here you can see uh, reverse of this and five, four, three, two, one, which is absolutely fine. And let's see that some only one single digit number. Let's see, I'm passing four. The reverse of four is four only. So let's uh, run it again and let's see it is giving you four. Let's see if I'm passing some common number, like same number one, 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 the reverse of triple one is equal to the triple one only the same one, one, one it is giving to you. Then I'm writing, let's see, for example, let's see a long number like this, something like this. This also should be reversed. So let's run it again. And let's see, this is also getting reversed over here. Let's see, I want to pass some more big number like this, which is not within the range of integer. Why? Because we have taken this integer over here. So this is not the range in the integer. So can I do one thing? Can I put long over here? So let's put a long and then you supply L over here just to represent that. Okay, this is a long number. And the long number also will be reversed here. So here you can see that. Okay, yeah, exactly working fine. It will reverse uh, three, five, four, three in the reverse order. It will not print L remember this thing. Now let's see, I'll just print a number which is having zero, zero, one then in that case, what will be the output? So if you run this 001, remember this thing, it will give you one only guys, because 001 is equal to one only. So actually Java will consider it as a one only, it will not reverse like 100. Remember this thing, 
But if you try to reverse with 100, then it will start giving you 001 because it will print in the same order for zero, then zero and then one. So this will be your test data if you are giving some basic hacker round round hacker uh, rank round or any lead code or where you have to supply the data and you have to make sure that okay your test is absolutely working fine for all the positive numbers including zero as well. So let's see if I'm passing zero in this case and um, let's run it with zero also it is giving you zero only perfect which is absolutely working fine. Okay, so this is a very simple question, very, very simple, reverse a number using recursion. So make sure that, okay, this function is calling somewhere over here, and then you are passing the divide by 10 value like that. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching Navin Automation Labs. I hope it is clear. If you have any questions or any suggestions for this code or you want to improve it, feel free to write in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.